Hello everyone, Toybox here in crazy hot Las Vegas, having just received the update for actual Smart Summon, which is supposed to be a massive improvement over the previous version. So I immediately ventured out on a quest in order to find an open, oh my god, a Cybertruck. As I was saying, to find an open parking lot where I could, oh my god, a Cybertruck go test things out and show off its current capabilities toy box cyber truck coming 20 20 something i don't know i'm still saving up for one i ended up finding this spot and thankfully the way the lot is structured it gives us the perfect opportunity to do a rather straightforward test than a more complicated one where it'll have to navigate through the area and come find us for the first test it was an easy one and what's cool about it is that it immediately lived up to the Smart Summon name. As you can see through the app, it initially calculated going all the way around the area. Then it determined, nope, there's no need to do so. So I'll just save some time and battery and cut across right here. Thank you very much. Compared to the previous version, from the reversing to speeding up, slowing down, and the handling, it is definitely way smoother and much more confident than before. For the second run, I upped the difficulty quite a bit, going 183 feet away, parked the car in an entirely different area of the lot. Once it got going, because of an island directly behind it, it had to carefully reverse out of the spot then make an immediate left, followed by quickly encountering a stop sign. Then it had to navigate the rest of the way and come find me. Once again, it handled everything beautifully. After going through all the motions and finding me, I started to get some Terminator vibes, so I figured, run dude! After running a solid 20, maybe 30 feet and immediately started gassing out, I thought, let me just cut across here and see what it does. It ended up carefully looping around the entire area, being very mindful of the nearby curves, then continued its stalking. Passing grade for sure. Lastly, a distance test. And the furthest we were able to go is 275 feet on the dot. The second I move an extra inch out of the circle, it would say move closer. I'd also like to give some credit to the app, since now when the car starts moving, we can see a preview of what it's seen through its cameras. Final thoughts are, seriously, how cool is this? It's in a beautiful state right now, and things will only be getting better as updates keep coming along. Hopefully you liked the video. Make sure you subscribe since there's a lot more I'm going to be working on. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.